Hello friends and welcome back. Now in this video on sound, we are going to learn about the production of sound. Specifically, we are going to explore the answers to three questions. The first one is, how can I define sound from a scientific perspective? The second question is, what produces sound? And the third question that we are going to explore is what are some of the examples by which we can say or identify the causes of how sound is produced. So let's dive right in. The first question is what is sound? Now I think we all can answer this question from a general understanding level. Sound is just something that enables us to hear things. From a science perspective we define sound as a form of energy and this energy produces a sensation of hearing in our ears. So that is what sound is. Now the second question that we have is how do you think sound is produced? And it is very simple, right? You might think that, you know, when we speak sound is produced or when we do, do some kind of tapping or plucking or rubbing, sound is produced right by anything and any of these kind of activities in order to say generally how sound is produced we say that sound is produced by mechanical vibrations mechanical vibrations and that is the key aspect now let us try to understand this using examples how is it that these mechanical vibrations result into sound Let's look at some examples. Now, if we look at some specific examples, like the first one is a stretched rubber band, right? When you look at, when you have a stretched rubber band and you just try to basically, you know, pull it and then it, it, it just vibrates and that also creates a buzzing sound, something like that. So, you know, again, this is an example of a vibration producing a sound. The second example is that of musical instruments. I'm sure all of you who love music and are, you know, do play some kind of musical instrument, do know how sound is produced. For example, flute will produce sound when the wind is blown into it. Violin, it's mainly from the strings. So musical instruments, again, something has to vibrate to produce the sound. And then the third example is tuning fork. This is what we typically use in the laboratory. So it, the tuning fork just looks like this. And what essentially we do is we just tune this fork. We just, you know, pull it and then it starts vibrating. It does a to and fro motion very quickly. And that is what produces sound. So mechanical vibrations produce sounds. Now, many times it is important to uh, know what part, you know, or what, what, what part vibrates to create the sounds. And a very good example to study that is different kinds of musical instruments. So what we're going to look at is uh, three types of instruments and see, you know, where does the sound come from them? So here I have a table where we are looking at different types of instruments in the first row. Then we look at the examples of that type of instruments. And then we look at what produces sound in that instrument. So the first class of instrument are known as stringed instruments. For example, all the instruments that have strings. So we are looking at um, musical instruments like violin, guitar, and mandolin. All these three, you know, they, they, they use strings to produce sound. And the production of sound essentially happens when the strings on these musical instruments are vibrated, right? So again, it is mechanical vibrations that produce sound. Then we look at another kind of instruments which produce sound based on wind and we call them as wind instruments. Uh, examples of these instruments are flute, clarinet and saxophone. And what produces sound is the is when air is blown into the pipes, right? It's the air that causes the vibrations and it produces sounds. And then the third type of instruments that we look is percussion, for example, drum. And you all know how a drum produces. You hit on the membrane of the drum, right? You with the drumstick and the membrane vibrates and that is what produces sound. Now, another important 
point that you can note from all these different types of instruments is all these instruments actually produce different kinds of sounds right so a string for example you can easily differentiate between the sound coming from a guitar to a sound coming from a flute so what this tells us is that the nature of the vibrations and the material used actually governs the type of sound that is produced so we answered our three questions let us quickly summarize what we have learned in this video we learned that sound is a form of energy that produces sensation of hearing then we looked at sound being produced by mechanical vibrations right mechanical vibrations need to be there to be able to produce sound and vibrations is nothing but the rapid to and fro motion of any you know thing like a string or something and then we looked at a whole range of musical instruments and saw and also tried to explore what are the kind of sources of sound coming from them we looked at another two examples that of a stretch rubber band and tuning forks which produce sounds so that was all about how sound is produced do remember to subscribe to the channel so that you can get the latest updates of the videos as and when they are updated Good luck and have a great day.